Selling Punkatamans overcrowding and infrastructure challenges which characterized most schools in the municipality in the Greater Accra region will soon be a thing of the past. This is because the Punkatamansu Municipal Assembly has donated decks to be distributed across schools in the municipality. In 2019, TV3 Mission highlighted the infrastructural challenges and congestion plaguing most schools in the Tonkatamansu municipality. Some classes had about 90 pupils. Those without chairs and decks had to learn on the floor. The municipal chief executive of Tonkatamansu, Solomon Apia, in an interview with TV3 Mission, promised to resolve the challenge in order to meet the Sustainable Development Goal 4 on providing quality education that Tonkatamansu municipal assembly has provided the consignment of decks to be distributed to schools in the municipality. The gesture is the final batch of items made up of 200 drill decks, 20 teachers table and 20 teachers chairs donated by the assembly to augment furniture supply for the 38 public schools in the municipality. They brought an issue with some of the cluster of our schools. They don't have enough furniture which enhance learning. Uh, they brought it to our notice, but as you know, we go through formality when we want to procure these items. So last year we put in this particular request, we gave it to a supplier and he has been able to deliver um, the 2019 consignments of our furniture for our cluster of schools under the KKMA. We received uh, the first batch of consignment of uh, furniture uh, somewhere last year and the promise and now they are delivering. I think that is a plus and I say we thank them so much. The issue of even the maintenance, we are also expressing and we are monitoring that the schools take good care of the, the furniture. The Tonkatamansu Municipal Assembly is expected to distribute more decks in an effort to curb the infrastructural challenges facing most schools in the municipality. And that's it for Mission. Mission is supported by the Star Ghana Foundation with thanks to Danida, UK Aid and the EU. Thank you so much for watching.